The fixtures are showing St Johnston and Ross County, but my eyes are showing six points that we must 100% pick up. Welcome back, guys, to Son of Scotland. It is the FC25 Hearts Career Mode. We're into episode seven now, I believe. Hopefully, this will be lucky number seven. It's been a while since we won in the Cinch Premiership, and if we don't start winning again quickly, we're going to find ourselves dropping down the table. Now, apologies, I did not get a video uploaded yesterday. I'm trying to get a career mode part uploaded every day, but it is very difficult. I work full time, have two channels, and also do five co-op channels with my brother. If you haven't checked them out, guys, it's the Fog channels, Fog Football, Fog Wrestling. We've got a little bit of everything going on, so if you can go and subscribe to all them, that would be great. And of course, here, if you can leave a like and you can leave a comment, then I'd appreciate that greatly. It makes me feel like it's actually worth doing, but it does cost me a lot of time to do this. And if I'm if I'm seeing likes, if I'm seeing comments, you know, it helps the videos improve. It helps the videos, the algorithm. It just gets it more noticed. And, you know, it's nice when you see your work getting more views and just more appreciation. So if you can do that, then I appreciate that big time. But we've got St. Johnston and Ross County. And, you know what, unless we win both games, this video probably does not deserve a like. So I'm looking to get off to a massive start against both of those teams. Now, we have dropped down to sixth in the table. However, we've played, I believe, less games than some of the teams above us. So, yeah, you look at league table. We have played eight. But if we win, we go above Mullerwell. We go above Dundee. I'm assuming we'd go above St. Mirren on goal difference. I doubt we'll go above Rangers because we'd need to win by seven goals. And I don't think that's going to happen. But look, let's just win and we can put ourselves in third place so for me that's absolutely massive but before we do any of that we're going to do something different here we're going to try it i'm trying to find it now we <laughs> ah, there it is it was hiding on me we're going to do this youth tournament that ends in 24 we're going to enter this like i have no idea what this is i think it's a five aside youth tournament i don't know if you get anything for winning it but it ends in 24 days and it's appealing because we're taking on celtic so you know what we're going to give this a go and we're going to do it right now but first actually let's check out our squad do we get to pick our squad? Do we get to pick which youth players we enter the, the tournament with? Or do we just basically get thrown in at the deep end? Let's find out. Oh, edit team lineup so you can. Oh, happy days. So, it's a five-a-side game. We have got Beck. There's Leo. Do we put Beck in there? What is right? No, right's a goalkeeper. Beck's a goalkeeper as well. He's from Liechtenstein. All right. We've got Leo in there. Uh, this Leo guy seems like he could go in, but uh, maybe we put Wilson in. Oh man, they're, oh they're all centre backs. That's minging. They're all, they're all defenders. Let's um, let's put Leo in there and switch him with Wilson, and then maybe Lloyd. So that's that's our team. That's it's not looking great, isn't it? That, but that's the team that we're going to go into this uh, tournament with. So. Yeah, wish us luck, guys. Change kits. Can we get something going? We're playing in our home kit. Celtic's playing in their home kit. All right, this is it. Here we go, guys. Five aside. The ball's going to shoot out, I believe, and let's go. Can we get... Oh, no, they've got it. It's Janssen and Celtic are through already. Oh, it's a big save. It's a five-minute game, so... Yeah, um, not a lot of time here on the clock. That guy's ginger. Looks like Kai Rolls. Everyone ginger. I just assume it's Kai Rolls. Celtic... It's John into the middle here. It's well, we forced them back. That's pretty good. And now they're out wide. And oh no, they've opened up a bit of space here. It's a big save for the keeper, and he manages to hold on to that. So good stuff, right? Ball thrown out. Looking in the middle, and it's a poor. I mean, that's a poor ball, and we're not going to get to that Ivan off for Celtic. Celtic game of the ball. It is John. He's the captain for their team. And it's, a, it's an all tackle for us, so I mean, what, 40 seconds approximately into this, and we haven't really offered anything going. It's all Celtic. All Celtic. But here we go. It could be a chance for us to counter here. Chance now to Walker. Can Walker take a good touch? He's done all right there, to be fair to him. Oh, he's, oh look at that. <laughs> he just took us out there. No penalty given, though. Ah, oh, that was our chance. That was a big chance for us. Ball launched up, and it's we've got possession of it here, right? Oh, yes, here we go, Wilson. It is Walker now. Can Walker continue that run? We couldn't pick him out, Leo. Oh, Leo, you can't lose the ball there. Both of these guys are blonde and they've got ponytails. Maybe they're twins. Twins playing in the opposite teams. Who knows, right? White. 
The guy's black, but he's called white. Ironic. Right, here we go. We'll find it back. Lloyd, he fell on his ass. Let's see what we can do this time. We've got a counter going on. Out wide. It's Walker. It's Walker. Oh, I'm, we've been tackled again, but we should get the throw in. It's thrown now to Wilson with a power header, and that's that's uh, optimistic there. I don't think that's going to get the job done. A minute and a half gone, so we've got three and a half minutes remaining in this crazy little tournament. That I don't know what it actually does. Maybe it just gets the youth players a bit of experience, and if that's the case, then, I mean, it can't really be a bad thing, can it? But uh, it's nil-nil so far. We beat Celtic when it mattered, and we beat them in the youth tournament. Let's hope so. No, oh, bro, challenge from Leo. And back to the keeper we go right now. P picks out Wilson. Oh, and Wilson gives it away. That's not great. Can he be doing that? Can he be doing that and expecting to, to not be punished? Celtic are going to try and punish us. We need to make sure that doesn't happen. We've won it back again. Right, good stuff. Let's go. Wilson. Oh, still Wilson. He does well there. Wilson, over towards Leo, it's headed away, back up towards Leo, Leo looking to play it into his teammate, doesn't get it, and Celtic could be on the counter here, I looked offside, not given though, right, we'll play, oh, we've kept it in, still nil nil, no goals in this youth tournament match, Leo, with the ball, back to Lloyd, over the top, we're looking towards Leo, and Oh no, we could be caught. We could be caught. I think that's half. I think that was offside, no. Apparently not. Hits the side net and two minutes remaining. Only two minutes remaining here. Right, Lloyd. Oh, it's a poor touch. And, pff, wow, we've tackled him there. A poor tackle for sure. Another shot. That one's off the... Oh, and that's unlucky. It's off the post. They get the... They get the I mean, they get the bounce. They get the bounce, Celtic celebrate. They're one nil up. Ah, not happy. Looks like we could be going out in the first round of this tournament. Oh, we've lost the ball again. Can't be doing that. Especially if we want if we want to win this, we need to get a goal. We need to get it quickly. Beatty at the back. Now we've got John. And if Celtic go 2 0 up, you feel like it probably is over. Good tackle though. All right, ball played up to Leo. And we will take this throw and we have a minute 24 to go. And we've lost that again. What are we doing? I'm glad this is only a youth tournament. If this was a proper game, I'd be going through these guys for sure. Oh, a big save again for right. Come on. Let's go. Ball played out. Don't think Leo's going to get to that. Nah, Janssen's cut across here. Back to the keeper. Beat it. Plays it out for the back. That looks offside to me. He's tried to squeeze it past the creeper, but he's not done it, and we can't keep that in. It's going to be another throw in for Celtic. We not a lot of time left on the clock here. All right, we've won this. Let's go. Ball up to Walker. Walker, then. I tell you what, this could be a chance. Oh, and we just couldn't turn around with the ball. That was an opportunity. <laughs> We haven't really had any good opportunities so far, but that was certainly one. I don't think we've had a shot. This youth tournament's not going how I planned. 30 seconds remaining. So you know a shot straight at the keeper, right? Let's see what we can do here. It's Wilson. Wilson in towards Walker. 14 seconds remain. We need something to happen here, and that's a poor ball, and that will end it, really. <laughs> Five seconds remaining. Yep, we're beat. I mean, can we get this up? No, we can't. So there you go, guys. We've lost the youth tournament. We'll lose one now. Oh, man of the match was our goalkeeper. He made six saves. He got a seven match rating. Looks like everyone else was pretty shite, so... I mean, I can't say, I can't say I'm surprised. That was a poor, poor performance, but that's what it is. Player development. Did anybody go up? Let's have a look. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Looks like they're all still shite, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's it. We tried. Didn't really work. Now we need to focus on St. Johnson. And speaking of St. Johnson, this is their team. They're going with a five at the back. Only rated one star as well, so we really should be taking St. Johnson to the sword. 
Uh, they've got Sidibe up front, Kimbioka, you know, decent attacking players. they also got Ikepezu on the bench as well, former Hearts man. So, and they've got uh, Nielsen at the back, who's on loan fare. So, look, they've got some decent players in there, but I mean, make no mistake about it, they're a one-star team. We need to be beating one-star teams. And here's our team then, Clark, Penrose, Kent, Halkett, Taylor, Berenjme, Devlin, Oda, Forrest, Spittle, and it's the main man, once again, Lauren Shankland, leading the line. We'll go Hearts, enjoying some possession early on, Forrest, out to Penrose, Forrest makes the run, can we pick Forrest out? Maybe pick it Shankland, who jumps up and tries to contest the ball, but Ray has that one covered, and it looks like St. Johnson may have an injury here early on. They've got a player down, they decide not to kick it out, their continued play, so if that's what they want to do, that's what we'll do. It's Forrest, now it's Spittle, Spittle opens up, shot over the bar. Should do a little bit better there, I think, Blair Spittle. I mean, he's been an important player for us this season. He's coming in, he's kind of took that role in the, the cam position in the starting 11. He took away for Jan Dander, but uh, that shot definitely got away for Blair Spittle, not good. All right, it's so it to Gerald Taylor. Taylor then looks for Oda, it's Cammy Devlin. Devlin to Benenjami. Benenjami finds Forrest. Benenjami making a run. Forrest back to Benenjami. What can Benny Benenjami do? This time he's looking to pick out Blair Spittle again. And this time Spittle with another shot. And I mean, that's a better shot for Spittle. But it's another save for Ray. Uh, but we're, we're getting closer there. Blair Spittle not afraid to shoot. As we've seen already in the opening 15 minutes of this match, but uh, St. Johnson really struggling to create anything, and I'm liking that, you know, so far we've been all over them, like a deadly rash, but uh, so far we're not really deadly, we haven't killed anybody, we haven't scored yet, but here's hoping that we can change that. We've got Oda again now with the ball, out in the wide area, he's got Taylor running with him, Oda, oh, nice play, Taylor now looking for the cross, and Shankland is in there, and he just couldn't get the ball to fall for him, now it's been Benjamin, over the door, oh, trying to play an Oda. Oda first to it, back heel flick. Cammy Devlin. Taylor. An end, mate. Should be first to that. He's not, and now we could be looking at a potential St. Johnston counter, especially if we slide in like a madman and don't win the ball. But Craig Halkett's there, and he certainly does win the ball. So, I mean, just so far, we've been too good for St. Johnston. They've really struggled to get a hold of the ball, struggled to create anything. And that's what I like to see. We're creating. Not great chances, but we're, we're, you know, we're looking okay. It's Benjamin now. Shankland, back to Benjamin. Ah, oh, Benjamin's heavy touch, but he wins it back. Lawrence, out towards Taylor, or Oda, should I say. What can Oda do? Back at the Taylor. It's Spittle. Oda, in towards Devlin now. Back to Taylor, Taylor. To Devlin. Or to Spittle, even. Doesn't matter, we're, we're, we've got a lot of possession here, we're just unable, oh, and speaking of possession, St. Johnson picking up a rare spell of the ball, but again, we make sure nothing happens. It's Forrest. Forrest to Spittle, Spittle takes that in his stride, Spittle now. Spittle looks to get past Smith, and Spittle's going on his own here. Leo Spittle to Shankland, over the top, it's Spittle. Spittle goes down, and St. Johnson again just launching the ball. As far up as they possibly can. And this time we're going to keep that in there. It's going to go all the way back to Sander Clark. Sander Clark then just a big ball up towards Penrice. Penrice flicks it on towards Benenjami. Benenjami down to Alan Forrest who's going to look for Spittle. And he's going to maybe find him. But no again St. Johnson just put their foot through the ball man. Devlin. Out to Taylor, Taylor now crosses it in, Shankland brings it down on the chest, what a goal for Lauren Shankland, I tell you what, that's an absolute bullet, the goalkeeper certainly is not saving that, I mean he can look at it all he wants, but he's not got superhuman speeds to get across and save that ball, and there's Stephen A. Smith giving it large on the sidelines, but a good ball in for Taylor, Shankland chesting it down, great first touch to be fair, and then smashing it in. It's a good goal, I like it, and it's exactly what we needed just before half time to get in front, to take the pressure off us, and hopefully now, you know, uh, St. Johnson will need to get forward a bit more, and that will open them up at the back. Go Shankland again. Still, oh, she's done pretty well, there's Lauren Shankland. Shankland, left foot it, oh, and it's not a million miles away. Shankland trying to double hearts his lead just before the break. Half time does come, and it comes 
just when St. Johnson needed it. I think they've been saved there because it was all hearts. We were piling the pressure on. Uh, you look at the stats there. It's four shots for us, zero for St. Johnson. They've only had 23% of the possession. Make no mistake about it. We're dominating here, but it's only a 1-0 lead and they're never safe. So let's try and get a second goal quickly in the second half. Spittle turns back, finds Devlin. Devlin at the forest. Forest looks to come in central, loses the ball though. But anyway, tries to slide in to win it back, and St. Johnson just gives it back at her. Sympathy, I guess. Now it's Spittle. Spittle takes a shot. Oh, it's not a million miles away, just narrowly wide of the post there. Blair Spittle almost doubling the lead, as we can see here. It's a good shot, it's a very good shot, and just just misses there. Not by a long shot, but I tell you what, I think the keeper had it covered. Alright, unfortunately the footage cut off there towards the end of that St. Johnston game. We did get to see how it finished, but good news is it finished 1-0. The bad news is it finished 1-0. We had domination in that game, 10 shots to their 1, 77% of possession. We really should have put them to the sword. We really should have put about three or four past them, and that would have put us into further in the table. Unfortunately, we didn't do that. We had to rely on a sneaky 1-0 win, and now we're sitting in fourth. St Mirren on, nine, uh, on 15 points, St Rangers on 15 points, Celtic on 19. So Celtic still four in front, but it's pretty close between the chase and pack. I'm looking at the next run of games, though, and I expect that the top four will all win. St Mirren at home against St Johnston, Celtic at home against Mullerwell, Rangers at home against Dundee, Hearts at home against Ross County. I'm expecting four wins for the top four, so I don't think much will change, but who knows, all, we'll, all we can do is beat County. We beat Ross County, and we hope that someone else can do us a favour. But right now, you know, we're level with Angels on points, we're only four behind Celtic. Let's keep it going, we can still have a good season. And I still believe the title fight is on, but we must win these very winnable games, and Ross County is exactly that. Three points needed. Alright then, here we go, a couple of changes for the upcoming game against Ross County. We're going with Gordon and Nett, Salazar coming in at left back. Halkett again returning at right back. We've got a first start of the season for Callum Neuenhoff. We've got Mackay on the left. Boyce coming in at the cam roll once again. We've got Shankland up front. Should be good enough to beat County, but we also have that Europa Conference League game coming up. So I want to try and rest a few players, but without dropping points. So that's the key. Win this game without our strongest start 11 and try and save that for Europe. Shankland flicks it. Oh, gets a second bite at the cherry. Oh, no, that's a bad tackle for Shankland. I mean, I felt, fortunately, I don't think he's going to be off, but that's a booking for sure. Yeah, yellow card. Not surprised. I mean, I don't know what Shankland was thinking there. Frustration, lost the ball, just slid in like an absolute madman. And uh, you can't even do that, especially so early. No need to do that, to be fair. Right, boys, what can he do? Can he slide the ball in like a madman? We're going to find out. Drills it straight at Laidlaw. I mean, it's a decent strike, but I mean, it's right in the middle, straight at the goalkeeper. Boyce again, space opening up. Liam Boyce drills another one. Oh, and it's went through Laidlaw. If at first you don't succeed, try again, and that seems to be what Boyce has just done there. First shot, he hit it straight at Laidlaw, and he kind of used the same tactics, but this time he really blasted it, put his foot right through it. And, I mean, there's a, I mean, did it take a deflection? Did the ball swerve? Did, was there movement? Was Laidlaw's sight blocked? I don't really know, but I don't really care. It's 1-0 hearts. And, yeah, Laidlaw there, that's going to give him nightmares. And there's Liam Boyce, he's happy. He's, he's afraid to look. He's pretending that he's Laidlaw. Laidlaw can't he see, he's covering his eyes. Laidlaw looked like a goalkeeper who couldn't he see, to be fair. But that is a good goal. Liam Boyce gets his first goal of the season. Could be an important one. It takes the pressure off us straight away as Hearts lead Ross County by a goal to nil. We've won it back already, man. I mean, Ross County really struggling here to get to grips with us at the start of this match. We are all over them. Now it is another chance. It's Liam Boyce. Liam Boyce again taking a shot from not a million miles away. Boyce looks up for this, man. I can sense a Boyce hat trick coming. It's Taylor. Taylor's looking for Boyce. Edge of the box. It's going to fall for Oda. Oda now. Shankland lays it off. It's back to Shankland. Shankland drills it. Ross County trying to hold it here. They're 1-0 down. They do not want to go 2-0 down. I think if they go 2-0 down, the floodgates will well and truly open. But they're trying to open the Hearts floodgates at the back. And they might have a chance here. It is Harmon. Taylor's going to have to come across. It's good defending though. 
Hearts deal with it. Oda to Nirenhoff. We're going to try and break on the counter. Can we get something going? It's McKinney. Couple of step overs. Lays it off to Salazar who overruns it. And now it's County again. Can they do something with Sheaf? Out to Brown. Brown comes into Jordan White. White with the ball. Back out to Sheaf. Ross County doing this right hand side. And that's going to be right into the hands of Mr. Craig Gordon. What a ball for Shankland. What a ball for Shankland. Mackay is running on to this. It's Barry Mackay takes a shot and he's actually won a corner for Hearts there. Chance now for something to happen here. Ball into the back post. Boise was there. Can they win the header? Kent's there. He flicks it down. Ross County looking to get it away. It's Oda down towards. I'm not a Hearts player. It happens poor. Liam Boyce. Oh, Liam Boyce. Still with the ball, Taylor. Edge of the box. Callum Newenhoff. Boyce opens up, takes a shot, should be a corner, and it will be, 34 minutes gone, another ball going to come in here, for Hearts, McKay, head up towards goal, it's off the line, by, and Laidlaw manages to grab a hold of that there, but Hearts coming very close to a second goal, oh, ball thrown to McKay, and he's ran on to it here, can Barry McKay do, oh, he's done well there, can he play in Shankland, he can, Shankland's going to keep this in, it's Lauren Shankland to try and score, to try and can he get to it? No, he can't. He just puts it into the net and, and he can't quite believe it. I don't know what he's trying to do. He's trying to sniff the goalpost for some reason. It smells like pish, don't it? There was a, there was a pish attempt there at Shankland. Should be doing better than that. What is he doing? I don't know. I really don't know. But uh, could have been 2-0. Still remains 1-0. All right, half time. We're going to make a few changes then because we do have the Europa Conference League game current. We're going to put Fargas up front for the remainder of the game so Shankland is coming off I'm going to bring on Macaulay Tate and I know that might seem like a bit of a risk but we're going to bring him on for Devlin I want to rest Devlin going forward and uh, I think that will probably do this or mate wait no we're going to bring on Wilson Boyce has been good but I'm going to bring on Wilson we'll play Fargas and Cam and Wilson up front so we've got Wilson and Macaulay Tate two of the youngsters on here as we start the second half and I'm I'm happy with that I think that can do some damage. Let's find it. Oh, it's good play here for Hearts. Craig Calcutt is bombed up. And it's going to be a throw-in. Decent tackle there, right, Hearts. What can we do? It's Tate. Tate towards Neuwenhoff. Neuwenhoff looking for Wilson. And, man, he'll need to play a better ball than that. I know there's a lot of hype around James Wilson, but there's no way he's getting on the end of that one. Not a chance. Wilson back to Fargas. Now it's out to Taylor. Into Ford's Fargas again, Nevenhoff, McKay, Callum, Nevenhoff, Fargas, again it's Fargas middle to part, oh what a, what a challenge that was, damn near, could have killed him, he didn't even get a free kick, almost seen manslaughter on the pitch there, but now Ross County looking to take advantage of it, and ah look at that, Gerald Taylor getting back in time, doing a good job, Macaulay Taylor, or Macaulay Taylor, Macaulay Tate, sorry. Back to Tate. Now it's Oda. In towards Fargas. Chance opening up here. Looking for James Wilson. Tried to chest it down. Could have went down there. Could have been wiped out for a penalty, but didn't happen. Nevenhoff flicks it up. Wilson trying to get to that. Head all the way again. Fargas now brings it down. It's out towards Oda. Takes a shot and puts it wide. Mackay. Fargas. Trying to look for Mackay, and what a ball that almost is, and the keeper has to parry out for a corner there. Interesting, right? I'm going to bring on Stephen Kingsley. Can we get a good delivery with this corner? Hopefully. Let's see, plant it on someone's head. Mackay, awful, but they, they've made a mess of it. It's to Kingsley now, left foot drills it, right into the hands of the goalkeeper, Laidlaw. Gallers that one. Fargas. Oh, Fargas has done well. It's Kenneth Fargas, drills it. Oh, it's another save for Laidlaw. Another save for Laidlaw. Five. I mean, we just cannot seem to score more than one goal a match for some reason. And maybe we'll get a goal here though, McKay. Oh, it's a good chance, Kent. Oh, and it's blocked once more. Ross County trying to hold on. And at the moment, they're doing so. But unfortunately for them, all they're holding on to is a 1-0 defeat. You know, they need to find something. And I just tell you what, man, they could find it here. Hopefully not, but they are coming through late on. It's Chilvers. Halkett needs to come across and try and take care of this. And now it's Brophy who I think is offside. 
Brophy puts one into the middle there, and that's taken care of by Hearts. Uh, oh, and that's Barry McKay. He's been caught there. That will be a card, surely. Barry McKay's down in a little bit of pain. And uh, yeah, this will be a, a yellow card for Ross County. With not long to go now, we will see this. Oh, no, maybe not. Not be passing like that, we won't. That's shocking. But Kent does well, gets it back. And maybe there will be a second goal for Hearts after all. James Wilson just does nothing there. That's going to get us a goal, but that should do it. I mean, time's up, and for some reason, I don't know why we're still playing here, but the referee finally does his job, finally blows the whistle. We get the win. It's another 1 0 victory. It's not. I mean, it's not great, but it is wins at the end of the day. 13 shots to their four. I'm happy with that. Look, it's a win. We should be doing better, but, you know, it is what it is. St. Mirren do win, though, by two goals to nil. They will stay above us, unfortunately. But we do have some good news because Rangers were held at home at Ibrox against Dundee. So that means we go above Rangers by two points. We're still behind St. Mirren. St. Mirren on 18. We're on 18. Celtic continue to win. They beat Mullerwell by three goals to nil. They lead the way with 22 points. But look, we're still in this. We're, keep, we're going all the way. Six wins. Six points, sorry, out of six in the last two games. And, you know, just a shame that we went through that period where we couldn't buy a win and we threw away a couple of late, uh, a couple of late goals. Because had we not done that, you know, we probably would still be sitting top of the table. But... You know, we made a mistake. It is what it is. But now we move on, guys, and we've got the Europa Conference League. First of all, we have a message from James Wilson. It's fantastic. You're picking me so often, boss. I mean, it was one game, but um, I want to see more for you, James. Show me what you've got. So um, there's previous messages. We've got some scout updates. And now, up next, we've got Lask. They're sitting second in this Europa Conference League. So they're, they're good, okay? We know that they're good. They've proven that they're good. They've already got a win to their name. But so do we. We've got a win. And I see no reason why we cannot win again. So, yeah, we're going to find out, guys. Are we good enough to beat Lask? Are we good enough to make it 2v2 in our Europa Conference League campaign this year? Let's find out. And this is it then, guys. Hearts, Europa League Conference again. We're going to do it in full. Heart of taking on Lask. Two teams with a 100% record so far in the Conference League. But somebody's O has got to go, and it will go tonight. Hey, maybe both teams will lose their 100% record, but we ain't thinking about that. We're thinking about nothing but a victory. That's what we want here. And if we do get a win, if we do get a win, considering that we took on Heidenheim and they were the pot one team, I believe Lask are the pot three team. If we can get wins over the pot one and pot three team, that would put us one foot in the next round we'd practically be guaranteed almost a playoff spot i know it's early days to be thinking about that but yeah i went tonight and, and we could almost be guaranteed a playoff position so look this is massive even if we get a draw tonight four points out of six we're opening two games we would have bit your hand off for that before this started so i'm not going to claim that i wouldn't be happy with a draw but i think we can win our form's good we're, we're not conceding goals we're not really scoring goals either, but we're scoring enough goals to win lately. So if we don't concede any, we only need one to win. And that's that's been the story so far. So there's our team. Obviously, Clark returns back into the net. So I'm bringing Blair Spittle in again. Go back to our familiar four, Penrice, Kent, Rolls and Taylor. Um, I think this 11 is playing good at the moment. That it's going to be hard for someone to break in and become a starting player in our team just because of how consistent we've been. So, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. But there's the Hearts players getting ready. There's the last players getting ready. And are they ready for the test that the Jambos are going to bring? Honestly, I'm not too sure. Here's their team. Do you recognise any of the players? Honestly, no. I don't. Um, maybe Lubisic and Horfav, I think. Is that the Hungarian man? I believe it is. So, I mean... <laughs> They're a good team. We, we know that. There are no mugs. But neither are we. We've already proven that this season. So uh, let's prove it again. Over the, over the course of the next 90 minutes. It's a big European game. But we're up for the big game. We haven't lost a big game so far this season. If you can settle the big matches against Heidenheim, Celtic Rangers. You know, we're unbeaten against the big teams. So, well, actually, we did lose to Hibs and Edinburgh Derby. I, I apologise if I got that. But you know, that was so sick that I... I can't believe, I honestly cannot, oh no, I'm giving away there, you cannot be doing that. 
Shot for distance. Sander Clark, though, makes the save. I honestly cannot believe we lost that Hibs game, though. We were 1 0 up and we ended up conceding two goals like in two minutes at the end. It was disgusting. But, you know, if we can get a good result tonight, that would make up for it. And to be fair, we're, we're kind of forgetting about that Hibs result. We'll put it down as a, you know, a bad two minutes at the office. But here we go over the top. It is a chance for Blair Spittle. Tried to turn. Maybe should have tried to shoot. Putting the pressure on, putting the press on. And it's um, worked out well for us here. Oda. T Taylor. Gerald Taylor's going to try and pick at Shankland, and he's not done that. But he may get another chance. He flicks it into Oda. Oda to Spittle. Shankland gets a bit of space. Takes a shot right at low. But uh, that, was, that was a decent attempt there for Shankland. Flecker's just absolutely done, Taylor. Absolutely spun him around. And then he runs the ball out of play, so I'll settle for that. Devlin. Benenjami. Oda. Oh, and it's offside for Shankland. I mean, has to do better than that. 13 minutes in and... Yeah, I mean, we need to stop doing offside passes, man. That was... That was not great. Gerald Taylor, though, that is great. Gets back, wins the ball. Rolls. To Kent, Penrice, Benenjami. Oh, again, another chance there. Cut out, Flecker. Flecker again. It's Rolls coming over to try and stop him for getting the cross in. And Kai Rolls does well there. Now it's Oda. Devlin. Devlin to Oda. And now we've got another chance here. Hearts, Shankland. Can Shankland get the ball played back to him over the top? We're going to look for him, but the keeper has came out. And, and yeah, he gathers that one up there. Lol, coming across and making sure that nothing comes from that. It's Lubisic now, out in the right-hand side. Lubisic, ah, oh, and there you go. It's just dealt with easily by Penrice, who kind of unnecessary punts it out for a corner. I don't know why he done that, but... At least we, we didn't concede a goal. Although, who knows? It could be coming here, perhaps. You can't be doing that. And, and Penrice looks like he will come away with this. It's back to... Back to Spittle, who holds on to it. Benenjami, Spittle. Spittle, finds Benenjami. Benenjami back over to Spittle. Spittle to Shankland. It's Blair Spittle. Oh, it's over towards Shankland! Shankland chips the keeper. Oh, no, crossbar. What a goal that would have been. And Shankland knows it. He can't believe it. Neither can I. I mean, what a goal that would, that would have been. Amazing. That would have been an Arsenal-esque goal from the uh, the Fenger era, for sure. The pass in there was immense. And we ended up just chipping it a little bit. I mean, I don't even think it was the height. I don't know if it was the height or the, the direction. But, I mean, it's, it's hit like the top of the post. Crossbar. You name it. Woodwork. So unfortunate. Probably, I think, well, not probably, definitely deserved a goal there. But we didn't get it. It's Lubisic. Lubisic again. Oh, we've done well. It's going to be kept in. Maybe not, no. Well, it's a goal kick, so it didn't need to be kept in. Sander Clark. To Penrice. Kai Rolls. In towards Big Kiami Devlin. Devlin spins around, looks for Benenjami. Benenjami now finds Spittle, and Spittle now is going to try and go over the top for Shankland, and just a wee bit over hit there. I mean, it was a decent attempt, but uh, just too much on that. And the keeper was able to come out and get to the ball before we could, so yeah, still 0 0. Close game, though, not a lot in it. Lubasic against Penrice. Penrice, brilliant challenge. Brilliant challenge for Penrice to, to hold up that uh, last attack, so. Good stuff. Usor. Usor. Trying to force him back. He's made a mess of that. It's now Shankland. Benjamin's making a run. And he just couldn't hold up. And Laska got a player down. So I don't know if they're going to play it out or not. Or is he getting back to his feet? He might be alright. Yeah, it looks like he's going to be okay. He's back up now. We'll want it back. Here we go. Shankland. To Spittle. It's Spittle now, 
Kenny Pickett, Shankland, and the oh, it's close, Lawrence Shankland. Oh, it's a deflection. It's gonna be a corner. Forty-two minutes gone. Right, come on, Forrest delivers it in. It's gonna fall for nah. It's gonna fall for Flecker. And look at the gap. Why is he running into space? Brilliant challenge for Pen. Penrose have been great this game. No doubt about it. Penrose has been brilliant. And that one is back at the keeper. It's Berisha. Flecker. Flecker's going away for Taylor. Oh no. <laughs> it's getting away Flecker now. Oh, brilliant challenge for Kai Rolls. Can he get it again? He can. Oh, and the referee's blue for half time. Thought he was going to blow to give us a card there, but uh, no, a great challenge. And we survive, guys. So at the break, do we make any changes? I'm not too sure. Match facts. Uh, three shots to one. So we're, I mean, it's an even game. It's tight. Taylor looks a bit tired. We'll, we'll continue into the second half. I'm not going to make any changes right now. But um, so far, we're playing well. And if we can see this out, then who knows? Maybe we can get a draw. Anything more than a draw would put us in dreamland and would put us in a great position for the next round. But a draw does that as well. Let's be honest. A draw here really does get us one foot into the the playoffs. Shankland. Shankland. Oh, he's been pushed off the ball. Lubisic. Usor. Poor half. Oh, we've got that back. Here we go, Forrest. Chance now, Shankland. Oh, he tried to play it through. Didn't make the pass. Devlin slides in. It's Forrest once more. Loses the ball again. And Lask looking to try and break us down, but they've, they've done a poor job of it so far. They haven't offered much. Four half. Usor. And um, back into their own half they go. Oh, we caught him there. Benny Benjamin, he will probably get a booking for that. But, yeah, Benjamin, if I was you, I would accept your yellow card. I, I do think it's coming here. And yeah, we're going to take him off. We're going to bring on Grant. Because, I mean, I don't want to go down 10 men, essentially. I think Grant might give us options going forward. So we'll see. Oh, we've won that back, but yeah, Penrice concedes a throw in. Andrade. Lubisic. Kent going to try and. Kent, I mean, Lubisic has done pretty well there to make a mockery of two defenders, but then Penrice does all right. Can we get rid of this again? Penrice been caught there. Kent, oh no. Big save for Sander Clark. I tell you what, with 30 minutes gone, or 30 minutes to go even, that's a massive save. That's a, that could be, I mean, that's like a goal. I mean, he, he has, uh, that's basically Sander Clark scoring a goal for us there because he's prevented a goal 100%. Fantastic save. Kent. Grant. Out to Forrest. It's Penrice. Penrice over the top, looking for Shanklin. He's not going to find him with that ball, though. It's a poor one. Should have been a lot better. Frustrating, for sure. No, it's Lubis. And I don't like this guy, man. He is causing us problems. I'll, I'll be honest. He's oh, he looks, He's away again. He's been Lasker's best player. There's no doubt about that. And he's caught his man into the middle. It's a block. Oh, and it's just over. It's just over. But, I mean, Lask, they are pushing the envelope here. And they're almost delivering. They're, they're trying, that's for sure. We're going to bring on... Um, we're going to make all... I don't know who we're going to bring on. Well, that's it. We're going to bring on those players there. Mackay's coming on. I think Salazar's coming on. And we'll see what we can offer here in the next uh, 22 minutes. Spittle. Spittle. Out towards Taylor. Taylor trying to get past his man. Just runs into him. And Taylor is down, but he's getting back up, which is good news. Last thing we want is an injury here. 20 minutes from time. Ball up. Oh, no. We need to get back there. Kevin Devlin, you need to track back. You need to get back quickly, and we don't have the pace. Does Kai Rolls have the pace? 
Cairo slides in, doesn't get to it. Oh, good block for Taylor, but again, it's still Lask with the ball. Taylor, Lask on the edge here, they're trying to break us down. And Devlin finally gets the ball off him, right? Ball up here. Trying to play in Shankland, but we can't. And that's a nasty challenge for Cammy Devlin. And that will be another yellow card, I believe. Yeah. Well, what a red they've sent. Oh my god, they sent Cammy Devlin off for that. That's insane. I don't think that's a red card, man. I do not believe that's a red card at all. But he has been sent off. And we may have to make a change then. Right, we're going to make a change. I can't believe he got sent off there. We're going to put Spittle down here. We will... Oh, it looks like we didn't get to make those changes. So we're going to bring on Fargas. We'll swap him with Shankland. Uh, in terms of the midfield, I guess we will... I think we're, I mean, I think we're going to play Kingsley in the middle. I'm going to play, I know it's a bit strange, but we're going to play Kingsley in the middle. Um, and that will, I think we'll bring on Barry McKay. And we'll bring on... Actually, no, we'll play Kingsley at left back and we'll we'll play Halkett in the middle. I know that doesn't really say a lot about Danda, but that's the changes I'm going to make. Have we got one more? No, we haven't. We've made our subs. So that's it. That's what I'm doing. Let's see if that works. It will be a free kick, I think, for Hearts. Yeah, 12 minutes remaining, so here we go. What is going to happen in the remainder of this match? McKay, that's a poor ball trying to play in Fargas. Tell you what, with Fargas' pace, late on, I think we may just be launching balls up and hoping for the best. It's a shot for distance and it's saved from Sander Clark. Rolls it now to Rolls. And there's a ball up to Fargas who's trying... Oh, Fargas has got through! Oh my god, Kenneth Fargas. Can Kenneth Fargas... Oh, he's tried to cut in there and he's been bundled over, man. That's a joke. Could have been a penalty, maybe. Ball now to George Grant. Grant then takes a shot and saved by the keeper. Five minutes to go. Corner for Hearts. Opportunity now for Grant. It's Hulk at the back post and he skies it with a header. Oh, man. Naismith can't quite believe it. He's doing on his knees. He's doing. He's been brought to his knees by Craig Halkett. Four minutes to go. I mean, we're getting into the point now where I think I will just be settling for a draw. I mean, we're down to 10 minutes. I mean, what more can you really expect? And that's another foul. And that's a... Wow, I cannot believe that. Straight red for George Grant. We're now down to nine men. Not sure I agree with that decision at all. In fact, I know I don't agree with that decision. Alrighty. I mean, what can we muster up? How much time's left? Oh, not, not a lot, and we're giving the ball away. Can't be doing that. He cannot be doing that. Can't be much time, though. Surely we're moments away here. Two minutes added on time. Two minutes added on time. It's Usor. Now it's Lubasic and Kingsley's done all right there. He's going to launch it forward, and that will do it. I mean, Fargas potentially was away there on the break, but we don't really care about that. Look, guys, we, we got a point. It was a pretty even game, I think. We were down to nine men, so we did pretty well there. Sander Clark getting an 8.2. I'll settle for that. I will settle for that. You can see the other results there. Kilmarnock lost, so uh, not good there from the Scottish representative. Um, let's look and see where we actually are then in the Conference League, so... Let's see the results. So we won. Oh, no, we drew. I wish we won. I don't know why I'm lying. We, we drew. We just watched it. How could I forget already? Um, so, yeah, we definitely drew. Kilmarnock lost. And St Mirren got beat 2-1 off Chelsea. Wow. Alrighty. So if we look at the, the table, that means we are now in 11th with four points. And if you look towards the bottom, you've got St Mirren in 19th. And then you've got... Heidenheim, they got off to a win. Florentino, 24th, just hanging on. Kilmarnock in 28th. So, yeah, you've got two Scottish teams still in the playoffs and Kilmarnock at the moment letting the side down in 28th. But only two games played, still four to go. Shamrock Rovers there have got a point as well. So, they're going to be trying to do their best. But 
you know, so far, it's not looking too good for them. Right, guys, that will do it. Up next, we've got Dundee. Going to be a big game. Every game in the league's a big game. We just need to keep on winning. Win every single game we can, and then hopefully stay pretty close in the table. So up next, it's Dundee and Mullerwell. And who do we have after that? Kilmarnock. Oh, the Florentina, then St. Mirren, man, in the Europa Conference League. And look at this for a month. Holy crap, look at December. We've got Aberdeen, Hibernian, Rangers, Celtic, St. Mirren. Two Europa Conference League games as well. And Dundee United. December's going to be an insane month. And I wonder if we can keep up our winning ways till we get there. I hope so, guys. Anyway, that's it. Leave a like, leave a comment. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Till then, be South Scotland 90. Peace.